Hi guys, uh, my name is Arkansas Embrim. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm in Pine Bluff, Arkansas in front of Colonial Steakhouse, everybody. Please come on in, share this video. We're about to learn all about this historic restaurant because we're gonna go in, into the restaurant, gonna put the mask back on. And I hope that we all gonna enjoy learning all about this amazing historic restaurant. All right, this is how it looks like, Colonial Steakhouse. This building is amazing. You have to come back here during daylight. They are open for business right now. If you're hungry till 9 p.m., come on in and enjoy it. All right, we're about to here, be here for some treat. Hi. Hello. Hello. What's your name? I'm Allison Hall, the general manager of the Colonial Steakhouse. This is, is Alicia Parker. She's one of our servers, and right now she's a cashier hostess. Awesome. You can put it back on. We just wanted to see you. Thank you. And uh, this is so beautiful and so historic. And the atmosphere, you guys, everybody's so nice and welcoming. And <laughs> I see that you have pictures right here. Any history right here on this? We do. This is a picture of the uh, steakhouse from 1922. Oh my goodness, you uh, guys. This is, it was originally Pine Street Elementary School and this is one of their second this, grade classes. This was a school before? Yes, originally a, a school. Oh it was goodness. built in uh, 1912. You guys, so many awards and everything. So, could you please tell us what is Colonial Steak House? What, I mean, steaks and what food do you serve? What's on your menu? Well, we mostly have steaks and seafood, mm -hmm. um, but at the Colonial, we like to give you more of an experience. We're not just serving dinner. Um, we give friendship, we give hugs when it's available and not COVID. Um, we get to know your family, we get to know your friends. Uh, we, we just enjoy this business. Yeah, and you guys, I promise everybody's here is so, so lovely. Now, how long has this building been here? Um, and how long has Colonial Steakhouse been here? The building was built in 1912, and it was wow. originally the elementary school. Mm -hmm. Then in 1987, the original Colonial Steakhouse burnt down. Oh, and okay. the, the owner at that time was Scott Mauser, and he bought the rights to this building, which was set for demolition. And he uh, got this kind of open just basically for the Christmas holiday. This picture here is the original Colonial Steakhouse. Mm. It was at Fifth and Beach. So beautiful. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous home. And the only thing that was saved from that fire is that sign. We still have that sign out front. Yes, look. Yes, the sign is original. That's awesome. Well, we cannot wait to see it. So could you please give us Absolutely. a tour? Absolutely, come this way. Thank you. Okay. In this first area, we have our private dining area. Um, this one holds true to about 20 people. Uh, in the winter time, we have kind of a faux fireplace that we mm. turn on and make it all nice and cozy in here. Um, this one holds private functions for the most part. What about the furniture? I mean, the furniture looks so historic and beautiful. The furniture has been refinished, but is originally um, from the early 1900s, from my really? understanding. Yes. Oh my gosh. And I see that you even have wine collections. Look at this. Yes, we do. So everything here, you guys, is so fancy. If you want to go and have a good evening and dress up even, I mean, this is oh, the place yes. to go. We have everybody from, we do, ball gowns and then we have people that come in from work and they may work on the farm and so they have mud on their boots um we just we we let everybody in we just want to feed everybody and have a good time yeah you want to follow me this way please i see that you have a buffet right here right we do we have a uh, we have our salad bar that comes with each each person's meal okay okay all right and and then we also have uh, these two main dining rooms. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Yes. Would you like to say hello in our video? No? Okay, enjoy your meal. This is beautiful, very, very Thank beautiful. Thank you. Okay. We've been blessed by many of our customers. They bring us um, antiques that they find in shops or in their 
Families Addicts. This is a piece that one of our customers brought to us. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. This is our main dining uh, party room, is what we call it. Um, it can hold up to 55 people. Wow. Right now, we can only do roughly 30 to 34 people with the COVID restrictions that we have going on. Um, but we have it set up right now for just some smaller tables in case we need those extra seatings. It's so beautiful. Thank you. I love it. Yeah. This is definitely one of my favorite buildings in, in Pine Bluff. That's right. And uh, there's steps right there. There are. Uh, years ago, there used to be offices upstairs. Now it's mainly just used for um, some storage and things like that for the most part. But are they historic uh, steps? Um, not that I am aware of. Oh, okay. But they look historic, like back yeah. in the day they would make that. This is wonderful. So, could you please tell us the hours of operation and your location? We are open Tuesday through Saturday from 5 to 9. Uh, on December 1st, we start opening on Mondays to accommodate for Christmas parties and gatherings like that. Um, we are open pretty much year-round. We close for a week at Thanksgiving and a week at Christmas. This is awesome. Thank you. And um, what would you say to a new business owner? Oh, believe in yourself. It's going to be hard. Um, there's going to be times you'll want to give up, but um, find your people. Find the ones that want to cheer you on, and they will make it worth it. Oh, so well said. All right, well, I'm going to turn one, uh, the camera around and ask you one more question. Okay. So what do you think? it's important to shop local oh because your local people are family they're friends um whether you directly know them or not they may be uh kin to your best friend or your neighbor down the street and without our local business our towns would just um they would fade away you wouldn't you wouldn't have all the neat little shops and things like that to go to yes you guys and just so you know look at this we can this is a historic. Hello. And you told me this is what they used to uh, use in coal mines. Yes. To call for help if they needed. Yes, it's uh, explosion proof. And so if there was ever any kind of emergency down in the coal mines, they could call out without causing any sort of explosions. Yes, and I just, I want to show you this one too. Look at this. Yes, and that stove is actually um, almost as old as this building, if not right at it. Well, we want to thank you so much for letting us come thank and you. talking to us. And thank you so much for keep staying strong, thank regardless you. of the current situation. But we're optimistic it's going to be over soon. Uh, we're, we're hoping. Yes. <laughs> and if not, we're just going to keep right on trucking. So can people do takeout? Yes, we do curbside. Um, you can feel free to call in, call your order in, call your card in. Or if you want to pay cash, we come out to the car. Bring you your order and we'll you receive your payment. The bar? Yes, you guys, that that's fancy right there. And if I asked you to cook me something today, like yeah. what would it be? Oh, because my favorite, favorite, my favorite is our prime rib for sure. Oh. It's a 32 ounce prime rib bone in. Uh, we cook it on our charcoal grill. Just when you order it, we don't bake ours ahead of time, and it is wonderful. Oh, you made my mouth water. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you. Thank and we you. wish you best of luck, and hopefully you're going to be staying here forever. I uh, sure hope so. Yeah, feeding yeah. us. And we'll be here as long as Pine Bluff wants to keep eating with us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.